Today on our 2005 Ford Freestyle, we're going to be installing the Tow Ready T1 vehicle wiring harness with the four pole flat trailer connector, part number 118395. We're going to first begin our installation by raising the rear hatch of the vehicle. First, we're going to need to remove the rear threshold. To do that, we're going to need to remove a push fastener here. Just simply slide a trim panel removal tool or a large flathead screwdriver underneath it. Gently slide outward. As well as over here on the other corner, there's the same style fastener. Next, we'll go ahead. We're going to need to gently pull upward while using a large flathead screwdriver or a trim panel removal tool underneath this front edge of the threshold. We'll also want to work the flathead screwdriver or trim panel removal tool underneath the corners here. So there's a couple tabs here on the back side, here in the corners, as well as underneath. Go ahead and set the threshold aside for now. Next, we're going to need to remove this fastener here and here, over here on the driver's side. Now, over on the passenger side, there's the same two fasteners. Just unthread it. We'll then need to use our trim panel removal tool to peel this section of interior panel back a little bit. Now that we have the driver's side pulled apart, let's go ahead and repeat the same process over on the passenger side. So now we're over here on the driver's side. This connector right here is what we're looking for. The locking tab is down here on the bottom and we will need to push in on that as we're pulling the connection apart. So right here is the locking tab. You just push it in. We're then gonna take this half of our new T connector, connect one half here, push it together, making sure you hear it click so that it's locked into position. Take the other half and connect it to that side of the connection point. Next we're going to need to take our white wire here with the ring terminal on it, as well as the self-tapping screw that comes with the kit, and we need to attach it to the body somewhere in here. So go ahead and take our self-tapping screw, white wire with the ring terminal on it. We'll have to pull the interior back a little bit here. Now that we have our connection point made over on the driver's side, we're going to need to route the green wire with the connectors over to the passenger side, where we'll repeat the same process. So we'll go ahead and repeat the same process like we did over on the driver's side by adding in our T connection to the tail light connector. Again, make sure that you hear the tabs click as they lock into place. Now that we have the connectors put together, we can go ahead and reinstall our interior panels from both the passenger and the driver's side. Now we've gone ahead and taken the extra green wire and bunched it up. We'll go ahead and put a zip tie on it to help secure it. Go ahead and cut the excess off. We have our four flat wiring. We're just going to route into this lower storage area for right now. We're then going to need to reinstall the rear threshold. So,
route our four flat wiring over like this so it comes into this center area. Now because this vehicle does have third row seating, we'll actually be storing the four flat wiring down here underneath where the spare tire is. Go ahead and put our dust cover in place. When not in use, you simply wind it up next to the spare tire. Set the panel back down in place. Now when you do want to use your four flat wiring, you simply lift up the cover here, pull your wiring up, set it over the rear threshold, making sure we stay away from the latch area. And when we close the rear hatch, the four flat wiring will push into the weather stripping and it will not be damaged. So now we can go ahead and close our rear hatch. And our four flat wiring is right here, ready to go. Next, let's go ahead and run through and make sure that our functions are working properly. We'll go ahead and use our test light to do that. And we'll have someone run through the light functions for us. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our test light. We'll take the ground on the test light, connect it to the open prong, which is the white wire and the ground on the four flat. We'll then turn our running light circuit on and we'll touch the brown wire. For the left turn, we'll touch the yellow wire. For the right turn, we'll touch the green wire. And for the brakes, we'll touch both the green and the yellow wire. As you can see here, all of our functions are working just fine. And with that, that'll do it for the installation of the Tow Ready T1 Vehicle Wiring Harness Kit, part number 118-395 as installed on our 2005 Ford Freestyle.